So this is the difference between a baby who's born who a little stimulation and maybe some expansion breaths and they just take off great and a baby who even 60 seconds of CPR and nothing happens and they they really are in bad shape. They're in secondary apnea. We're assessing the rate, of course, how many beats per minute, and the presence of variation in the rhythm of the heart, and is the heart reacting to stimulus. And we're gonna take those in a minute, one at a time, in a few minutes. But for now, just be aware that that's what we're assessing. And every time you listen to fetal heart tones, you are listening for all three things every single time, infinity, right? Because just to listen to the rate and not notice anything else, is to miss a lot of information that is very important. The thing about meconium is it's very hard to tell, to match what you see to fetal condition. In addition, when you show meconium samples to experts and you ask them to define the amount of MEC, what they think it means, and, and to distinguish is this heavy, moderate, minimal, scant, medium, whatever categories they use in the study, not only do you not get consistent categorization between the experts, the experts don't even agree with themselves when they put the samples back in again and have them redo it as part of the study. They don't take the same sample and give it the same rating. We're moving away from, and this is, I have this later in the presentation, but we're moving away from this strict these are lates, these are variables, these are um, earlies. And this kind of defrontlining of earlies is part of that movement to what is the pattern we're seeing that's going to cause acidemia? 